Hi everybody, it's Mark Lombard again, and uh, at this point we want to start describing tips for art appreciation. So we're going to cover two tips today in this little video, and we're going to use one artwork, thanks to the National Gallery of Art, part of the Smithsonian by the way, uh, Annabella Caracci, River Landscape 1590, this fellow was awesome. Our tips under discussion are when an artist uses red, she or he wants you to look at it. So that's number one. And the second <clears throat> tip is about landscape paintings. Uh, <clears throat> we're not an educational project so much, but we do say uh, some educational aspects to people. We, we tell them about landscapes. <clears throat> and we'll be doing that in this painting as well. But let's start with the first tip. Uh, this is called River Landscape. When an artist uses red, in this case, he wants you to look at it. So Annabella Caracci. So let's take a look at what we see here. What is it that we're looking at? Uh, we see a tree. I mean, this is the big tree here. We see a number of trees, actually. Some going this way, some going this way. We see water down here. Okay, so this is the river. Uh, we could see a fellow in red. Here's a fellow with red shorts on. Uh, looks like shorts, and he's pulling a boat with other people in it. There are other people in this boat up the river. Looks like they're going up the river. <clears throat> and in the back here, we have some grass and some trees, some mountains here. Looks like a city here. There's a very surprising aspect of this painting that I'll point out later on. But it's like the hand in front of your face. There's a house in this painting that most people miss. That's as plain as the hand in front of your face, and we'll, we'll point that out later on. But the tip here is when an artist uses red, he wants you to look at it. So we can't help but notice. And let's say that hadn't this person been wearing red, we may not have noticed this fella. Usually paintings are about people, you know, but in this case, the painting's about the landscape itself. And the artist put the red in there. In my opinion, he put the red in there to have us notice that there are people on it and that they're not the subjects of the painting. Rather, the landscape is. So, very interesting. I do want to point out the, the house before you go. This is like highlights for children. Over here with the thatched roof, you can see a house. And it's plain as the hand in front of your face. So that's the first aspect, the importance of red. And why this is so important is because very often these lead to gateway conversations. In this case, we were wondering why the fellow's pants were red, and that's to draw attention to the people who are clearly not the subjects of the painting. <clears throat> very interesting. The second uh, tip we're covering in this short video is about landscapes themselves. So in every landscape painting, there are four elements to it. One part is the sky, <clears throat> and everybody sees the sky. And when I'm giving presentations, I ask people to play along with me. Does everybody see the sky here? Yes. Another part is the forest. Everybody see the forest here? Obviously. A third part, mountains, or some stone formation. Here we have mountains in the, in the background here. Very, very clear. And the fourth, as you could well imagine, is water. And here is the fourth aspect. Look at this. There's a little boat here. I never noticed this before. And that just goes to show, I've done this a hundred times with this painting a hundred times. doesn't matter how many times you do this. You see new things in paintings that you hadn't seen before. At least I do. Never noticed this boat tied to a tether here to the tree. Isn't that interesting? But this is a landscape painting. Sky, forest, mountains, water, landscape. So we hope you enjoy this. I love this painting. It's wonderful. Uh, and um, it is a joy to behold. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.